السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسیب الیکٹرانکس فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا وائرنگ کنیکشن دا وائرنگ سکیمیٹک آف دس سروو موٹر کنٹرولر فار فورک لفٹر اٹ از فورٹی ایٹ وولٹ فائیو ہنڈریڈ ایم پی ایئر آئی ریسیوڈ میسیج فرام ون آف مائی ویور ہی سینڈ می دز سرکٹ ڈائگرامس وچ یو آر ناٹ ریڈیبل فار می اینڈ Luckily, he sent me ID plate of the controller and there is a part number visible in the top right corner. These messages are in Urdu language, in Pakistani, Pakistani language. He asked me, in this configuration, there are some wires. They cannot find the functional description how it is working. Actually, it have a master contactor. It have a polarity change converter for ro rotational speed of the motor. If you want to change the direction, rotational direction of the motor, then the contract contactors will change the excitation winding of the servo motor. It is PWM controller based speed controller and there is a potentiometer which is installed here to control the speed and some additional components in the outside they are used to configure the direction it have four terminals M negative M positive these two terminals for motor brand name Kia it is it have DC motor motor type connected with this and it is from china it is speed mod controller and series motor 7 horsepower motor and 48 volt dc controller type potentiometer it need potentiometer to control the, adjust the speed product description it is pwm pulse width modulation potentiometer 10 kilo ohm 2 watt complete combination in is like this so it will drive a motor and motor will be connected in the terminals master contactor and polarity converter double contactor input volt 48 volts output current is 500 ampere one hour constant current is 200 ampere and protection abnormalities like overcurrent overheating over voltage less voltage short circuit will start the protection circuit so it have a built-in protection circuit this diagram shows unidirection motor if you want to use a single direction motor so we will make connection like this negative terminal is connected to battery negative terminal that is shown on the controller so positive voltage are connected here for a small fuse bus fuse then there is a di diode for reverse polarity protection then we have emergency stop switch this 48 volt will reach at this contactor contactor coil this contactor coil it is and these contacts these two items are in one package coil and contact are in one package coil will take negative line and positive line from this side and it will energize so its arm will connect to this point there is main fuse our 48 volt will reach from this point to battery positive terminal and to the motor motor will receive plus voltage then there is inhibit switch this inhibit switch is used to stop or run if it is at stop so this controller will not take a command signal that means 12 p12 12 number pin this programming connector here between a2 terminal and b minus terminal Pin number 1 is downside, bottom right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So pin number 12 is connected to the common of this switch, inhibit switch. If this switch is off, so this programmer will disable. If it is on, it will be enabled and it will start to generate pulses, operate this motor. What will the pulse width rate? It will be defined from this 10k potentiometer. This potentiometer 
is used to control the speed for clockwise and counterclockwise. For counterclockwise, this pin is connected to pin number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 at this pin. And potentiometer second side is connected to pin number 11. That is the second last pin from upper side. And center arm is connected to pin number 5. So this potentiometer is connected to pin number 4, 5 and 11. This controller will start pulses, drive pulses to this motor and this motor will run. Anytime we stop this switch, inhibit switch, it will stop the controller to generate pulses, so motor will stop. Or in any abnormal condition, in any accidental position, if anyone will turn off this switch, emergency stop switch, it is in case of emergency. What will happen? It will open the path from this point and the master contactor will turn off. When it will turn off, it will cut the positive voltage and motor will deactivate it, controller will deactivate it, even the switches in run position or stop position. The main supply is cut from this point so it is for single pole single direction motor then how the potentiometer is connected 10k potentiometer 2 watt left side it is clockwise counterclockwise and the wiper the slider arm slider arm is connected this pin will connect to the center pin will connect it to pin number 5 this pin CW pin clockwise pin will connect it to pin number 11 and this pin, CCW pin, counterclockwise pin, will connect it to pin number 4. If we look here, 4, 5 and 11. Then we can use a pedal switch, like an accelerator. In that case, we will use 5k potentiometer. One end, is, one end will be connected to positive terminal. The second end will be connected to pin number 4. And pin number 5 will be connected to slider. In this way, the switch limit switch will connect it to pin number three so three four and five the resistance of the slider will change from zero to five kilo ohm and it will adjust the speed then there is inhibit switch connection so it will use single pole double throw switch battery positive terminal will connect it to common pin and one pin will connect it to pin number 12 the second point will open when we will turn off that time we will cut the positive voltage from this switch any switch can be used here to turn on turn off the function of this uh, controller in this diagram here is master contactor and here are polarity converter and now the motor is double pole double rotation side so it is servo motor to rotate in both directions so its direction can be controlled from these contactors. The same circuit positive voltage will in the same way to master contactor. Master contactor will turn on and here this contact will be made. When this contact is made, positive voltage will reach to A1 point of the motor. And the second end of the motor, this motor one lead will connect it to A2 terminal of the controller. There is a control winding, field winding of this DC motor. It is connected to the, these contactors. These contactors, common contact. K3, K3. One end is open, one end is closed. One end is open for second contactor. If we see this point, when this contact will make, this will turn on. So it will turn on this point. This point will close and this point will open. So the output will pass from this point to this point, right side, and this point is now made. This point is open from this contactor. So current will pass from this point to K2 points and K3 close points to the motor. So motor will rotate in one direction. Now, if we change to, this is reverse direction. If we change to forward direction, the switch will move to the second pole when the second pole will activate it so it will receive voltage and this contactor will turn on now this will turn off now this point will closed this will open and from this contactor this point will closed and this will open 
now we have combination like this first our current direction was from left to right and now the contactor combination changed now our current will flow from this point this point and this point current direction from the field coil saturation coil of this motor will change when the field coil will change that means this motor will change its direction the same potentiometer is here and anytime the emergency switch is opened direction contactors and master contactor will open and motor will stop immediately this diagram is more easy and more clear this contactor is now active this contact this contact for d1 and d2 now motor is connected in the same direction just only here is something motor negative signal will pass from this point and from this point left to right and it will reach to motor but just only you have to see the direction of the current from the winding when this switch is changed from reverse direction to forward direction this contactor will make this will open so this contact will shift here and this contact will shift here now the current will pass from this point from this point because this arm is shifted here so current will pass from this point right to left and th this contact is now here because this contact these contacts for one and the second have these contacts so current direction will reverse and the motor direction will reverse it is the same it is also more easy to understand here is master contactor the same which is invisible here at this point and master contactor have these points if you want to understand this diagram so battery positive terminal this bold line shows that is it is 20 millimeter and the small lines thin lines are 0.75 millimeter these are signal wires and these are high current wires here is power switch at this point when this power switch is on and the changeover switch is in center position what we want to do we can drive it in forward condition or reverse condition at any position we want to move it at right or left for example we make it to right when we will make it to right the first point will pass from this diode current will pass from this diode and it will reach at pin number 12 so pin number 12 will take voltage so controller will active that is inhibit switch and at the same time it will generate a signal from pin number 7 and pin number 6 here is pin number 6 for master contactor pin number 6 and 7 are used to connect a master contactor so it will drive master contactor just only we see positive voltage reached from this switch to this contactor and the voltage reached to pin number 12 so it give a signal for master contactor from pin number 7 and 6 positive and negative voltage master contactor will energize and this point will make so our main current will reach to battery positive terminal and the motor a1 terminal and same time we have 10k potentiometer at pin number 5 4 and 11 p11 p5 and p4 so a2 terminal is connected to a2 drive signal will start from this point and it will reach at this point now in normal condition the both contactors are in off condition when this contactor we say the reverse contactor r contactor is on so that means this point will shift down it will change its position drive signal coming from the motor m negative terminal will reach at this point and it will pass from this point to this point and from this coil to downside from this point and motor the motor will start rotating in one direction change the lever from forward to re reverse to forward position so this point will shift here then it will shift it here that time this contactor will off 
this coil will de-energize and it will energize when it will energize the same time these voltage will pass to this diode and the same path pin number 12 and master contactor will turn on the power will be applied now just only what will happen this contactor will reach in this position and this pair of contacts will reach in lower position now the signal will pass from this point to the left contact from downside to upside now the direction of current is reversed in our first condition the current was passing from these contacts and current was flowing from top side to bottom side and now the current will flow from this point because the forward forward speed is selected so it will move from here to this point to motor a1 terminal to battery positive terminal i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative if you want to watch my future videos you can press bell icon button and you if you are interested to watch my videos in urdu language in hindi or urdu language so you can proceed to my channel haseeb electronics urdu so if you are interested in my urdu videos then you can check my this channel thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh